Hello and welcome to Vault Vehicles. In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the Kukirin G2 Pro. If it's a good scooter or a bad scooter. And in short, I think it is a pretty good budget scooter. So what is the Kukirin G2 Pro? Well, we can clearly see on their website the specs here, but it is a full suspension scooter that has got a relatively large battery for the small size of scooters. This scooter weighs about 26 kilos and it's got a 15 amp hour 48 volt battery, a 600 watt powerful motor as you can see they're stating it here. But I like this scooter, it's got a good battery size for the weight because many scooters they can have really massive batteries but the thing is, those scooters usually weigh crazy amounts, 30, 40 even kilos. But this is a 26 kilo scooter, so it's a little bit of a, on the lighter side, but it's still got a decently sized battery. So you're going to be able to get around uh, with uh, like, you know, relative ease. Uh, and then I also like that it's got a, you know, it's not got a crazy one kilowatt motor, but 600 watt motor is going to be able to take you to places pretty powerfully up the, you know, inclines. Maybe not the steepest inclines, but still going to be able to take you almost everywhere in an urban environment. Uh, this is also a scooter that comes with a seat. And that's something I think that is amazing about this scooter, because that's the reason, the main reason I actually like this. In my opinion, this is one of the best budget seated scooters you can have. You can see it's got a seated scoot uh, seat here. It's also got a slight amount of springs in the seat, and this can also be folded. That's something I really like because not all seats on scooters are able to be folded, but this one actually can be folded. You just tilt it forward here. There's a lock. You see this mechanism? You just unlock it and you just put it, tilt it forward and it folds up with the scooter itself. This is what the folding looks like here. And it's nice. It makes it, it's quite compact. And you might think if it's sturdy or not, but it's got a pretty proper locking mechanism here. So it is pretty sturdy. And the great thing about this seat as well is they're really taking into consideration comfort here. Not only do we have a front and rear suspension, we also have a suspension seat post here, plus the springs on this seat as well. So you're going to have a relatively comfortable uh, ride. The thing is though, this is a cheap scooter. It goes for about $500, depending on what kinds of discounts you can get, because you can get discounts from Kukirin. Uh, it's got lots of suspensions, which might sound good, but the thing is though, this is a cheap scooter. Usually these suspensions are not that good in terms of the suspensions. This got these ones are quite, uh, even though it looks like, oh, look at this suspension, but they are pretty uh, weak suspensions. They don't, or like you could say that they don't absorb a lot. And the same thing comes for this um, type of uh, both uh, suspension seat post and also the spring loaded seat here. But combined together, it will create a comfortable uh, ride, which I am happy about. Something that I love about this bike is that it's got both front and rear disc brakes. Many electric scooters, they come with just a front brake or just a rear brake or just a one brake that is handheld and then an electric brake. I like how this has got two uh, handheld brakes. So you can get a bit more control yourself over the braking situation. So that's something I really, really love. And there's also a disc brakes as well, which are pretty powerful. Uh, unfortunately, they're not hydraulic, but at this price point of about $500, you're not going to really be finding uh, fancy hydraulic brakes. And then something that I think is also pretty good here is that this scooter is able to be reprogrammed. So you can reprogram it in the display. Something that I think that is really great about this scooter is that it's able to be reprogrammed. So in this display, you are actually able to program it by holding down the brake levers and then pressing a few buttons. You can reprogram it to be able to do fast or slow. So this is really good for people who have uh, laws in their country where they can limit the scooter speed to whatever is relevant in uh, the uh, country's laws. So uh, this scooter can potentially go 45 kilometers an hour, but you can also limit it to say 20 kilometers an hour if that is the law of the country you live in. Uh, something that is also good about this scooter is that it's got front and rear lights. So you've got some uh, good coverage when it comes to uh, safety, you know, here. And then you've also got a front one. Uh, and then we've also got the mud guards keeping you uh, also pretty clean. And then this seat is enabled to be removed, which is also great because in case you do not are not a big fan of the seat, you can still go with the seat. I Me mean, personally, I like the fact that it's got a seat. That is the main reason I like this scooter because I like the stability you get from having a seat, a little bit lower center of gravity. To me, it feels more safe. Uh, that's my main, the main attractive uh, 
the main attraction for me of the scooter here. And then the fact that it's able to be folded as well, which means that it's more compact than many of the seated scooters. Uh, because very often, the seated scooters, you can't fold the seat, or the seat is very bulky. And this makes it so that even though the scooter uh, has a seat, it's still very bulky. And at that point, I am almost may as well have an electric bike. Uh, but the thing is this, I like it. Because the thing I like about a scooter is that it's able to be compact. You're able to fold it. And this is then maybe able to fold the seat and the, the handlebar, which is great because then you're going to have a very compact form factor here. And then you've got so many other goodies with the dual suspension, the disc brakes, pretty powerful motor, and also the ability to program it. And that's something I, that's why I like this scooter a lot because it's got a really good price, $500. It has also got the decently powered motor, decent sized battery. It's got a seat. And not only any seat, but a foldable seat. All at a pretty good price point. And at the same time, being able to reprogram it so that you can have a decent uh, time when it comes to the laws. So I think this is an all overall a very, very good scooter that we've got here at a very decent price point. I've had a very hard time finding good scooters that tick all these boxes uh, at good price points. Always something missing. It either is, the, the, like for example, the Engway. Engway, they've got a scooter that's got a seat but they don't have the ability to reprogram the speed. Uh, and then you're not even able to fold the seat as conveniently as this one here. Uh, and then you've also got other scooters that have seats, but then they're not able to fold them. Uh, and they're often a lot more expensive as well. This is, ticks all the boxes, cheap seat if you want to have that and you can reprogram it. And you've also got disc brakes for extra safety, which I really like. I'm not a big fan of the single brake modes. This. In terms of reliability, people say that, that you can occasionally have issues with the bearings of this motor. So it could be that you have to replace it after a while. But generally speaking, this is a very reliable scooter. It can tolerate some degree of rain. Uh, it's just that if you ride it for a very long time, like over a thousand kilometers, you might have to replace some small parts here and there in the motor specifically. But otherwise, it is also a pretty bulletproof uh, scooter. So this is definitely something I would buy myself. The, th the reason I won't buy this is because I have an already an electric bike that I'm using for commuting. But if I did not have uh, an electric bike to commute around in the city, I would definitely use this because this is a very convenient package. You can fit it easily in your flat. In terms of my electric bike, it's too big. I can't fit in my flat, so I have to have this in like a shed. But this could easily fit in my hallway. So it's, I, I like this. We've got a compact, feature-packed scooter here with a decent amount of uh, stability here. So the one thing to just keep in mind is that the battery does not have any branded cells. So it could be that over time, this battery wears out quicker than other branded cells in the, the battery. Uh, so we've got like no named ones. So increased risk of fires, but also mainly that that's still going to be very low. It's just that this is probably going to wear out over time more than say Samsung or LG. They're probably going to last a lot longer than this right here. So just keep in mind. But for this price point, I think it's very good. It's very good. The fire risk is just okay, one off uh, thing, but it, people know I've not seen any people report fires with this scooter here. But the main thing I'm thinking about in terms of the battery cell output is that it's going to be uh, wearing out short, uh, wearing out quicker than other ones. When it comes to the tires, We've got pneumatic tires, so we've not got tubeless tires or solid tires, so these can be prone to punctures. So that is a downside of this. Uh, also, the tread of the tires is a bit more off-road uh, oriented. I mean, personally, I don't like that because I only use the uh, city riding, but it's still not got a too aggressive off-road tread pattern, so I like it. You're going to still be able to have some good grip in the city, but I would have preferred to have a little bit smoother tires and a little bit less uh, marketed towards off-road because because not a lot of people ride their scooters off-road uh, so it would have been nice if this was tubeless or solid and also smooth that's an unfortunate but that's an unfortunate aspect of the scooter but also you can't have everything in uh in one at this price point so overall i'm really happy about the scooter i think it's nice I would definitely buy it if I didn't already have an electric bike. I think you guys should get it too if you're looking for a way to commute around the city very conveniently and have a nice place to store this that is maybe not the biggest so you can store it easily in a car or in your hallway and still have a really nice ride and also have pretty good range and also good safety at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was the Cook Gearing G2 Pro review. 
If you think it was good or learned something new, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.